Last week I published the review of Linux Mint and though a lot of people appreciated my assessment, the criticism of Linux Mint, but I kept getting messages uh, around one point that I made and that was the search uh, tweaking that Linux Mint does. So I wanted to just address that issue for once and for all. PC is just a tool nowadays. Uh, I use it to get the work done. So when I come and sit on my laptop or my desktop, I want to fire up the browser, I want to fire up the word processor, I want to fire up the image or video editing software and start doing my work, close the laptop and go and do something else. I don't want to spend one hour in getting the audio or, or display or network to work before I actually start working. So I want things that just work. That's why I use the right tool for the right job. So depending on the use, I choose Linux, I use Windows, and I choose Mac OS. It's simple. So when I look at any particular platform, it's not a specific to Linux Mint. I look at it from a point of view of a user. So when I boot into Linux Mint, the first thing I did is almost the first thing all of us do is fire up a browser, right? And I went there and I looked for TFIR obviously and I did not find that site at the first result on the first page. And then I looked at it and the search was Yahoo, which I'm guessing is powered by Bing. So I like, no worries, I'll just go and change the search engine. So when I went there in the Firefox, I did not find Google there because I, as I said, you know, I use different operating systems. So even on my uh, OpenSUSE box, Firefox, though it defaults to Google, but when you click on the search button, they have all the options, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, or Wikipedia, whatever you want. You can easily switch and start using it. But that was not the case with Linux Mint. And as you all know that Linux Mint has a deal with Yahoo where they have chosen Yahoo as the default search engine. Fair. First of all, I don't know why they chose Yahoo. Because if you, if you read stories about Yahoo in the last four or five years, the only stories that come up is that how many times Yahoo users got hacked. Billions of Yahoo users got hacked and Yahoo did not even inform them for years. If you go to Linux Mint site and look why they chose Yahoo, they say because we value privacy. When Verizon acquired Yahoo, even Firefox terminated their deal with Yahoo, risking a lawsuit and went back to Yahoo, Google for ethical reasons. So Firefox did the right thing. But Linux Mint is still using Yahoo. So I don't know why. But anyway, even if we ignored that point for a while, it, as I said, Firefox, fair point. But how to force users to use Yahoo and not Google? I think Linux Mint developers, and I'm saying I think, I don't know, thought that, hey, if Google is an option, everybody will just switch to Google. So you know what? Let's just remove it. And if they don't find it, they will just get used to it and they will just use Yahoo. That is a user hostile approach because you are deliberately removing an option that is there so that users don't have that choice so that you can continue to make money. I don't have any problems with making money. I am actually one of the fiercest advocates of monetizing from open source or your content. There is no free lunch. I don't get this camera for free. I don't live in this house for free. I have to pay bills and my specialization is in creating content. So I monetize from what is my expertise. Similarly with Linux Mint, but not giving users choices, which was already there by removing that choice, you are actually playing dirty. That is not at all an open source approach. That's more or less as a, a, a proprietary approach. That's what proprietary companies do. They don't give choices. They lock you into a particular ecosystem or service that's called vendor locking. So that is why Linux Mint is doing and that is why it's dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because in this case, Yahoo was an option for Linux Mint to monetize from. So they removed the choice. And what is funny, I'm interrupting, just kind of taking a detour for a while. What is funny is that Linux Mint's own site is powered by Google because they customize the search result. So they make money from Google. So Linux Mint has no issues with Google whatsoever. They are happy 
to 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 let people use Google and uh, for whatever privacy concerns they might or might not have because they get to make money from it but since Google doesn't pay them to integrate they don't use it so it's not about Google or Yahoo it's about how we can make more money now the reason I as I was saying earlier is dangerous that is right now it's about search engine what if tomorrow uh, a, a proprietary company or any company tells Linux Mint hey you know what don't use LibreOffice use this XYZ productivity suite on Linux Mint and we will pay you something and we'll pay you not for preloading it we'll pay you for the uh, for the amount of time people actually use it what will Linux Mint do will they make it harder for people to use LibreOffice will they remove LibreOffice from their repositories will they make it hard to add PPA of LibreOffice so people can use it tomorrow if some XYZ company says hey don't use Firefox use our web browser as the default will Linux Mint remove Firefox as the default web browser will Linux Mint make it hard for people to install Firefox on their system you may say no they don't I say they might why because they've already done that they've already made it hard to switch to Google so they can very easily make it harder for people to install Linux Mint oh sorry LibreOffice or Firefox or any other tool so the thing is the problem here is that I don't have trust in Linux Mint because they have shaken the trust that people usually have in vendors who offer Linux and open source based solution because the whole point of open source is choices the reason I go to my Linux system is because I know I have the control because I know that there is no company I have no offense no offense Microsoft I love Microsoft new Microsoft but that used to be the case where you know or Apple you know they just force you to use their technologies they don't want to give you options that is the mentality that I'm seeing in Linux Mint these days and that is dangerous that's not an open source mentality that's a very very proprietary mentality and as I just mentioned Microsoft and Apple and I said actually both companies contribute heavily to open source and even if you go to, to Safari you can easily switch to Google to Bing to Yahoo to DuckDuckGo just one click and you switch you go to Microsoft Edge their own web browser you just open google.com and then switch as the default search even Microsoft and, and, and Apple are doing much better job at allowing users to switch search engine than Linux Mint that says a lot if I find that Microsoft Apple are doing much better job than you then there is a reason for you Linux Mint to think about it and that is why I don't use Linux Mint and that is why I will not recommend Linux Mint to anybody I have some friends they use Linux Mint I have no reason why they use it because they should look deeper into these issues and if as I said I have been one of the members of the desktop Linux community the open source community is very big the desktop Linux community is a small community within the bigger open source community I have been part of it and uh, the whole reason is that we question things we, we, we criticize things that's how we work and we improve things so the whole point of this criticism of Linux Mint is to ask them to please change their practice this is if if I talk to Richard Stallman he will say this is evil practice don't use Linux Mint so the whole point about my criticism of Linux Mint is not that I have anything against them no I will start recommending Linux Mint the moment they, they fix this problem because right now I have trust issues and the only reason I'll use Linux is trust so if you are shaking my trust I will not use your distribution I will not recommend your distribution and that was the whole point so all those Linux Mint fans who were upset and angry with me please watch and listen to this monologue and tell me if I'm wrong and if I'm wrong why am I wrong and if you think that um, demanding Linux Mint to be more open is wrong then maybe you should go and use Windows XP you'll find yourself at home that's sad that's true so Linux Mint 
please fix this bit mess and I'll stop criticizing you. If you don't, as long as you continue, I will continue to. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope, I hope that, uh, not hope, but I fear that I have angered a lot of people. Uh, but the whole point of Linux community is to be able to discuss freely with mutual respect and actually understanding the topic. So my topic here is very simple that Linux Mint is playing some dirty games by removing the choices and they're also raising questions about uh, future possibilities. So think about it and then come back and let's have a very good and positive and constructive discussions. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye for now.